Today's video is about photography, but not about the camera. I'm gonna hang a seamless paper backdrop on that joist there and hopefully convert my two-car garage into a poor man's amateur photo studio. My problem as an amateur photographer is a lot of times I want to take a portrait of something that takes a little time to set up. And if you're aiming for golden hour, that means that oftentimes you're constantly adjusting settings and if you pass the point where you bump up ISO too high, now your images are too grainy and you kind of lost the opportunity. So instead I want to set something up in my garage where I can have it ready to go anytime. I can create golden hour in the garage by controlling the lighting and uh, have it available anytime I want. And the idea is that when I'm done, I can roll the paper back up into the ceiling and it goes away. I apologize if you're following the channel for melting things, foundry work, CNC work, and the like, building and destroying things. That's not today's episode. But if you're interested in photography, I'll show you how we're gonna install a couple brackets like this, along with a couple of fittings like this, which drop down into the bracket. And we stick these expandable mandrels into the paper, this gear to, uh, Pull the, haul the paper up and unroll it when we want to. So there's enough spots for three rolls of seamless paper. I'm going with fashion gray, kind of an 18% gray. I just moved into this house uh, this year and uh, the goal is of course to make everything on wheels so I can move it around and configure it as I like. But for now, a few things are still sitting out that are in the way. So let's start clearing that out. All right, here's the brackets. Two holes at the top, two at the bottom. Those fit a super clamp from Manfrotto, but I'm going to drill just another hole here and since I've got solid wood or joist there I'm just going to screw in and I'm going to put a third hole here just for a little stability and a lot of it's going to hang down. I just have to make sure it's going to clear the garage door when it opens. Okay. Garage door is coming too close to that. Okay, I think that's strong enough I can hang off of it. Even though those are just drywall screws, there's not much weight on here. And we're good. Problem. And we go just like that. Oh, there it is. Yeah. That looks nice. Oh, nice. Is it getting expanded? Good, looks good. Get the other side. By the way, I love these uh, little trays. I want to make a 3D printed version of this that has uh, exactly what I need. Right now I can at least hold it. Most of the tools I need and they're pretty secure. Be nice to make a custom version someday.
Oh well. So obviously I'm going to need a lot more lighting for that. I might have to turn off these lights because they're casting kind of a hard shadow. The paper is pretty smooth, but you can see the lines. Uh, we'll see if maybe fill lighting will take care of that. But anyways, mission accomplished. You roll that right off on the floor. And normally you put some kind of weight on the bottom here, which is what I'm about to do now. Gaffing tape. meters so I can pull it pretty much the length of the garage and lay hardboard or something down on top of it if I'd like. The setup seems to work pretty well, even just with some very cheap lights on the side. Uh, idea would be I can come in here and in five minutes I can reel this down. It's got a little weight on the floor, so perhaps I can pull it all the way across the floor if I need to get a head to fl floor shot. Uh, or just for headshot, I can just pull it down, not even all the way necessarily. I'm a real big believer in having the space do more than one thing. In this case, I get great bang for my buck because that tucks up in the ceiling and it doesn't take any space at all. And it makes something that I do a lot, a lot easier. So I hope you liked that. Give me a like if you did. If you didn't, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see not necessarily more photography, although I will do some of that, but a lot more building, CNC work, designing, breaking things, melting, uh, that sort of thing. Thanks for watching.